Hi, welcome to Freezer Burns. I'm your host, Greg, the frozen food master. And you're joining me as I eat my way through the freezer aisle one box at a time. Today, we are test driving something that they call world famous ribs. That is a very bold statement, and I love me some ribs. But can you get good ribs out of the freezer aisle? We're gonna find out in today's episode of Freezer Burns. If you spend some time on freezer burns, then you might stave off the stomach churns. Greg's the frozen food master. He's best bud to your taste buds. Those of you who have followed the show for a while know that I love two things best. It's meat and barbecue. Put those two together and you got something special. Now out of all the different types of barbecue, one of my favorites, absolute favorites, is pork ribs. So when I saw this in the freezer aisle, I said, I gotta try this. This is the Tony Roma's World Famous Ribs Seasoned Pork Rib Bites. Tony Roma's is a popular restaurant Part, all different parts of the country, not one near me, but they are supposedly world famous for their ribs. This is just under $6 for a box and it's one and a half pounds of food. Considered the pioneer of baby back ribs, Tony Roma's can be found all over the world with over 260 locations. This item came with a bag of pork rib bites and a huge pouch of Tony Roma's original barbecue sauce. The nutrition facts were what you would expect in a barbecue dish, but the serving size was confusing. Clearly a lot of ingredients go into this dish and clearly Tony Roma's doesn't have a proofreader. Not quite sure what cotanes means. To prepare, I defrosted the rib bites by microwaving in a dish for 9 minutes. Then I placed the ribs in a single layer on a cooking sheet and baked in the oven for 17 minutes in a 400 degree oven. Then I took the ribs out of the oven, added the entire pouch of sauce, and baked for another two minutes until the sauce began to caramelize. Okay, moment of truth time. I have three of these little ribs on here. Got a nice little, you know, it's like a nice little handy stick, right? AKA the bone. Big piece of meat on this one. On this one, not as much meat, so it, there's definitely diverse pieces of rib here. Diverse little rib bites. Smells good, looks good. Let's see how this tastes. Okay, with this piece, the outside skin, super flavorful both the side that I, that I drizzled the barbecue sauce on and the other side. This is supposed to be like Tony Roma's famous barbecue sauce. It's really good. Just the right amount of kick. Not too sweet, not too spicy. I really like this. It's like a bold, I, I don't know exactly what, to, it, it kind of reminds me of like a, like a Kansas City style taste to it. I really like the taste. It's the spices and the seasonings on the other side where the juices just kind of float underneath. Really like that too. Here's where it falls short, the consistency. Very tough exterior, very kind of fatty interior. It certainly falls right off the bone. I'm gonna try one more bite. Yeah. Great taste, not great consistency. Very, um, Tough in places, stringy in places, chewy in places, and I, I'm gonna need a floss. This is the Tony Roma's World Famous Ribs Pork Rib Bites. Just under $6 for this box. Quantity was decent. Preparation was kinda complicated, to be honest. Multi-stepped, but you know what? I can forgive complicated preparation when it really tastes amazing. Taste amazing, yes it did. Consistency, not so much. Um, I don't know if it was the adding the microwave preparation in, in addition to the oven, uh, but it was tough in places, chewy in other places, dry in some places, fatty in other places, inconsistent. Did it fall off the bone? Absolutely. Is the barbecue sauce very, very yummy? Yes, 
but I really didn't like the consistency and because of that, it drops it way, 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 way down. I give this Tony Roma's pork rib bites three out of five star. Question of the day, pork rib bites. What is your favorite thing that is bite size? Put that in the comments section or call the Hungry Nation hotline and leave me a voicemail. As always, I'm your host Greg, the frozen food master. This has been another review of Freezer Burns. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.